Many swear upon the benefits of cold water therapy after workouts. I do. Because I know I feel better after a run if I put my legs in cold water. But why? Is it only pain relief? Is there any other benefits to this cold induced suffering? People say it's good because it decreases inflammation. Well, does it actually do that? So there were no change in those inflammation markers between contrast water immersion and passive rest. Some say it's bad because it inhibits natural processes after a workout. So yes, there are some truth to that. But does it translate to decreased performance? It reduced rated fatigue of DOMS, delayed onset muscle soreness. And it seems that it worked for young soccer players. Why? People say cold water immersion flushes blood to the muscle. Is that true? Yes, and it also reduces swelling. But does it actually translate into less pain, more power, strength, endurance? Contrast water treatment reduces DOMS if compared to passive rest. Damage in muscles are reduced with cold water immersions if you compare it to passive rest. But power did not increase with cold water immersions. But strength did. So is there any difference between contrast water therapy and cold water immersion? There was no difference in results when comparing them two. What about hot water, power and strength? How does it compare to cold water treatments? Contrast water therapy was favored over warm water for muscle strength. But for muscle power, favor was for warm water. Contrast water therapy is superior to using passive recovery or rest after various forms of exhaustive or damaging exercise. The benefits relate to reduction in muscle soreness and improved muscle function. And these findings seem to be clinically relevant. But it seems that it's most applicable to elite sport. And there is no data available on determining an optimal method of cold water therapy. So it's suggested that you have many recovery processes. So cold water therapy is superior to using passive recovery. But how does it match up against other recovery methods? So it seemed that there were no differences in contrast water therapy, cold water immersion, active recovery, compression or stretching. However, cold water therapy significantly decreases muscle soreness in comparison to warm water immersion recovery. In the meta study, almost 95% of the included studies used a cold water immersion temperature of between 10 to 15 degrees. And they have a continuous immersion for between 5 to 24 minutes. So I recommend cold water immersion for 5 to 24 minutes in a temperature of 10 to 15 degrees. That is if you want to do cold water immersions. There is no way to determine exactly what's the best from these findings but these are recommendations I take because this was the most common practices in these studies.